Hello and welcome to episode 4 of our race from continental America's northernmost city to its southernmost city. Right now, both teams are making their way through the American West. Michelle and I are ahead, having made it all the way to Boise, Idaho with a solid hand of tickets and plenty of options out. Ben and Adam, on the other hand, are still stuck back in Seattle. They're 20 minutes from boarding a flight to Idaho Falls, but that plan might be about to go out the window. Another flop? Another flop. While they were sitting at the airport, this ticket hit the flop a non-stop flight all the way to Denver. Whichever team secures this ticket will lock in a guaranteed lead, so it's all going to come down to who can run a drunk mile the fastest. <gasps> Bye! Bye. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Shoot, okay. shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, I think we gotta... We have to try it. We have to. <sighs> I think we're gonna miss our flight. How fast can you run a mile? I don't know, like six minutes? Go, 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 go. I'll follow you. I can do it in the airport. I can do it in the airport. Find find alcohol. Find alcohol. Find alcohol. Okay. Uh... Oh my god, I'm not insane. There's bars and stuff. Yeah, yeah, there's a wine bar. Hey there, can I get four shots of gin, please? I can't give you four shots. Can't give me four shots? I can't. It sounds like I'm 20, uh, it is. six. Well, hang on, hang on. Oh. We gotta get your ID. Yes, of course. What's the most you can give me? Uh, you can get one double. Please, I can give it a little. Okay, great. So this is two. This is two. So I'll do half. Yeah, sure. Let me buy those drinks, and then but they gotta tell me the story behind. We appreciate it. All right. Good luck, Adam. I can explain what we're doing. You're rolling. I'm to do it. Uh, you want to do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Um, you sure you want to do it? I'm ready to go. If you... No, I got it. Okay. Um, go. I'm going. You know, it was probably not the most awesome move ever to eat so much macaroni and cheese right before this. Pretty intense flavor. That second half of this one. Here she comes. How you doing? How you holding up? All right, okay. keep it going. Keep it going. He's got to run a mile. Oh. Think of the Mile High City. Yeah. Well done. F this. Oh. Oh. She did that split in like 1:45. So that's a six-minute mile that she's running. That's crazy. My tummy is just macaroni and cheese and gin. The perfect running fuel. So that football player is now turned into that board. You already did a mile? No, no. That's just another quarter mile. Here she is. This is, uh oh. Don't break oh, your ankle. God damn it. Now a little more. There we go. How does this compare to running in the Death Valley? So much worse. Insane. Go for it. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Okay. Don't throw up in the airport. See. Ben, 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 Ben. Okay, I'm coming to you. Yes? Okay. Well, I'm happy to be a participant here. Last one. <laughs> so when should I be in Key West? I'll be the one during the <sighs> There we go. There we go. Let's go. Ah! I'm going to be honest. My tummy feels so bad. I need to, like, really for sure. Not throw up in the airport. I'm a little wide or something? No. <laughs> after he runs and drinks that, you're the guy that has to vomit, right? Well, uh, after, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. Let's go. Come to me, me, me. Come here. Come to you. Hold her. I'm calling them. Getting prepared. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> you nearly got it. You ready for it? Hello. The challenge Hello. completed. Guys, I've got some really bad news. Uh, we, we already did it. You did not pick up the phone. We tried to call, you didn't answer. 
Okay. That's a mile. It's a mile. Call, call, call. Call, call, call. Call, call. Okay. Okay, we're making the call. It's no response. That's us. That's us, Theo. It's us. We're in beautiful Seattle Tacoma Airport. Turns out you can run in airports. Who knew? Okay, bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm very sorry, Michelle. Like, that sucks. That's brutal. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm actually gonna cry. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty drunk right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. It's hitting me a little bit too. Okay. It's. A <laughs> Michelle just sent us a picture and says, I'm f***ing crying. Yeah, well, when you go up against the boys, you uh, Yeah, when you go up against the boys, you get absolutely f***ed. Um, so I would say we're squarely winning now. Yeah. Uh, and everything's going pretty much perfect, I would say. F***ing how? They were, like, right next to a bar. <laughs> Let's regroup. Let's figure out the game plan. Okay, so we have... That's so disappointing. I'm actually, I am f***ing We do now have the 450 mile from the pumpkin, right? Um, we could go to Salt Lake City. Yay! Oh, wait, there's a site flight to Seattle in 50 minutes. You want to go to Seattle? Sorry, it's to Salt Lake City. Can we make that? Would we want to make that? Should we, should we take that if we can book it? I think we, sh we should, right? Are you going to give me any useful intel? My intel is it's Scorpio season, Adam's a Scorpio, and that's what got him through the mile. I, How did they seem so coherent when we called? I think it was Ben or something. I don't know. Elbow somebody to lean on. Swallow your pride if I have faith. You need to borrow. I'm feeling so awesome. I need to book it now, so. Just do it. I think so. I mean, we can probably make that. The only thing is, <laughs> it's in 50 minutes. If we miss that, our flight is gone. Then let's go. Yeah, so can you, <laughs> can you help me get this stuff together? Oh, oh my god. I'm so mad at Ben and Adam. Ben and Adam editing this. I'm mad at you. Come on. Oh, by the way, I've booked our flight, which means that ticket is out of our hand. We now have a free slot in our hand. There's an overnight train to Denver at like seven, but we don't have any train tickets. Worst case scenario, we don't get a train, but we still make it to Denver tonight. Yeah. And they don't get that card, which is still phenomenal. The flight that popped up in the flop is Pretty good. What is it? The 600 mile flight to from an obscure airport. Oh yeah, that is pretty good. That is a pretty good. You have to go to an obscure museum. We can't do that right now. No. Um, but it's gonna be good for them. Would not send drunk in those texts. I need to care. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to have shoes off. Very bad news. I put her date of birth in wrong. We have to go to the desk, but we have so little time until our flight closes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Here we are. You earned it, buddy. I'm going to be honest. I feel like the last time that I had to get drunk on camera, I really kind of held it together. And yeah. this time I feel like I'm letting loose, baby. Yeah, it's time for Drunk Adam. Adam, do a jig. Thank you. Okay. It's definitely right now. Morning closes in like five minutes. We'll be great. You're, you're doing great. Be 20. Looks like it might be fine. You ready? Are you okay to run? Pumpkin makes you run. Sure. Luck, 
luck, luck, luck. I know that everybody wanted Ben to get drunk. But that's not how it went, okay? That's not how it went. I got drunk instead. And that is, is okay. Okay, I'm gonna call Maeve. What are you doing? It's Maeve's here. Oh my God, Maeve's here. I, Shout I, out to Maeve. I'm, 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 I'm recording on the camera. You are the most beautiful woman in the world. You are so drunk. Hold on a second. This is a little down to the water. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Okay. Hey. Hey. Hello, guys. Thank you. Yeah, I can see you too. We made it. We're trying to take a nap from this. Hey. I miss you. I'm gonna normal up for the flight. We're gonna put a bag over his head. Bye, Maeve. I'm calling my mom. Welcome aboard, and thank you for choosing Delta. The health and safety of our customers and crew is our number one priority, and the shared responsibility of everyone on board. Yes, we're we in it to win it. Yes, indeed. Love you, Mama. How long is this flight? Shut up. Nobody knows. Can you send me my ticket? I'm giving you a lot of tasks here. All right. Off to Denver. Didn't Boy. think we'd be going there today, so... but... This uh, plane does seem like it's taking off late, which is unfortunate. It is unfortunate, but you know what? We're still more ahead of schedule than we thought we'd be. Yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's yes, the, here's the, the deal. That I think I've identified. I think I've found a route that can get us all the way to New Orleans by the end of tomorrow. Assuming no steals. That would be the only thing that makes it break down. We need to get this steal. So, by the way, we just mentioned steals. That's a new kind of ticket in today's deck that allows you to steal a ticket from the other team. They're pretty rare, but a steal coming up at the wrong time could throw a wrench in anyone's plans. We have to get Certainly the one that's open today, I think, because that's an easy one. But I what the round yes. the round tails. Do you want me to film you? No, it's fine. Okay. Um. So we're going to Petco right now. I just realized something. No. What did you realize, Sam? Is this good or bad? I the pumpkin. Let's go back to the gate. Here, here, here. Was it, was it in that overhead? Yes. Oh, no. I wasn't thinking about it. Wasn't what happens if we don't get it? OK, well, uh, this flight was supposed to leave at 1.06. It's now 1.30, and we have not even moved from the gate. So we might be losing some time getting into Denver. We were hoping to get a train out of Denver tonight, and now it's looking more and more like that might not be possible. We'll see. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um, weird question. Is that the um, is that pumpkin that they brought out? Is that what you left? Yes. Those, are, those aren't ours now. Okay. That's someone Where's else. That? That, I know it's crazy. Thank you. <laughs> oh, they took it off. Oh, my God. I was panicked. OK. Uh. That was so lucky, dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. OK. So let me go back to explain. Um, we go to Petco. We explain some birds, the birds and the bees. 
we get the right to a 400 mile rental car. Slay. We use that rental car to drive overnight, well, you know, stopping overnight, obviously, to Montrose, Colorado. Are we gonna go Colorado to Dallas? Yes. Yes. From there, we can get one really long flight tomorrow, kind of around noon, to Dallas, and we'll have a perfectly timed connection to get to, I think, New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah, the risk is if they steal one of these cards, we're going to be screwed because we're going to be in the middle of nowhere. I am going. I am going to. Because we're going to be. I'm like, going to freaking call Ben's mom because she follows me on Twitter. If Ben, if Ben and Adam try to steal one of our cars, I am calling their parents personally. You hear this, guys, when you're editing yeah. this? Do you need a snack? Always. Well, you have. But we need to get into the super first. I'll get a snack at Petco. They have snacks. Not for humans. Hey, for Sam? Yeah, hi. We've been sitting on the runway for an hour, and they just did an announcement uh, to tell us that they forgot to put all the bags on the plane. So they have to do that before we take off. Um, so... It's fun. <laughs> Petco. Yay. Let's find birds. All right, this is oh, awesome. Yeah. Do you want to get this parrot or whatever ready for adulthood? So, as your legal parent, I have to explain to you that you didn't come from a stork, even though that's another bird. You actually came from, I don't know how birds have sex. How do birds have sex? I'm not sure. Well, humans, let me tell you. There's a thing called a uh, pinito. I'm saying that because people will probably get blurred. Bleeped. Bleeped. In jet lag, because jet lag's PG. And it goes into a vahuna. And then And it fertilizes the egg. And then you have a zygote. And that's pretty much what happens. So like, it's crazy out here. Like yeah. you have to have two bodies fully connect to make a baby. And it's, it's kind of nasty. Yeah, well, good news, that was 20 seconds. Bye, my guy. Bye, and I'm sorry, but that's where you came from. All right, great job. Well, that was easy. Let's call Ben and Adam, yeah. and I'm gonna tell them how I really feel, well, which is not good. Hello. Uh, we got the birds and the bees. Michelle's doing awesome, um, and... Uh, she just did an awesome trick. That was an awesome trick that she did. Adam, I'm mad at you! Wait, wait, I didn't hear anything you said. I heard it, I got you. Oh, oh, and I forgot to mention, we're in Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City, okay. Bye. Okay. All right, you ready for a flop? I'm, flop me, baby, flop it. Steal Jimmy John's crown. Order Jimmy John's to a location. Before the Jimmy John's arrives, you must make a sandwich and have one team member deliver it to the Jimmy John's. It's the steal. Let's go! Wait, Michelle, 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 concentrate, concentrate. Okay, we need to find a good Jimmy John's nearby. Well, It is the game's very first steal, which is a problem because Hopefully this flight is about to take off, but we're gonna be in the air. We're not gonna be able to get it. They're for sure gonna be able to get that. And then they'll be able to steal one of our cards or they'll just hang on to it and steal an even better card down the line. Um, but either way, that is not great for us. There's no way they can get to a Jimmy Don's because they are on a plane. But no, they're, they're, their plane just landed. Landed? Seemingly, either that or they're boarding. Either way, we gotta, we gotta hurry. 
Okay, uh, here's the thing. We need to, I'm gonna book that rental car because we need to open up a slot for the Jimmy Johns. Book um, it, baby. Yeah. You want me to research Jimmy Johns? I can one do that second. drunk. One second, I'm doing it. Nope, nope, I got it. Oh, there's one. <laughs> there's one right here. There's one right here. Let's go. Okay. Come on. Um, let's find a grocery store. I'm coming for you. You see me? I'm coming for you, baby. I'm coming for you. No clarity. Uh, apparently, our staffing here handles a few of the airlines besides Frontier. They're a contractor. They handle uh, Air Canada, us, and a few other airlines. We have to win this. I know, we really do. There's a Costco. It's, it's, it's like a five minute walk. There's the Jimmy John's. Okay, let's, let's, let's just get there. I'm downloading the Jimmy John's app. Okay. The only problem with Costco is that the food is all the way at the back. You've got this. So wait until I'm ready to go. Okay, I got my Costco card. Okay, I'm going. Go. As I was saying, the whole moral of this is just don't have alcohol. Just don't do it. Don't try it. Just be good kids. I know a lot of you guys watching are uh, high schoolers. Stay in school. Get into Yale like Adam did. <clears throat> just kidding. We like Adam. But Adam's a Scorpio and Adam is f***ing this up for me. Can, can we talk about how I literally predicted <clears throat> Scorpio season was going to be crazy? Adam's a Scorpio. He doesn't even realize it until he's literally editing this. I'm normal, I'm normal. I send well wishes to the boys. I wonder if they're getting off or on a flight. Please be getting on a flight. Please, please be still gone on a plane right now, please. Um, we have been on the runway for about an hour and a half now. Hopefully Michelle's just so drunk that they can't really get anything done. That's kind of what we're banking on at this point is that, uh, She's just fully incapacitated. I want to go to bed, but I won't because I'm a fierce, fierce jet lag competitor. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Go, 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 go. I know, go. But I need to make it. Okay. Oh my God. I've Rip got, that thing apart. I've got cheese and meat. That's the sandwich. I'm gonna go. Go, 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 go. You have directions? Wait, which way was it? Was this to way? the right, okay, yeah. Bye. And then left. Left yeah. out of the parking lot, Sam. Go. Ooh, bread. Now I can have the leftover bread. They just started loading the bags on. They are getting the bags on board, and once it's all accomplished, I'll get back to you with a, another update on our arrival time there in Denver. Thank you for your patience. Got it. I'll see you, Jimmy John's car. Got it. As far as I know, Michelle didn't call me. All right. Back over there, I guess. You know, I look like a maniac running across the parking lot with a sandwich in hand, but that's what jet lag does to you. Oh, my God. Hello, Sam. Hello. Hi, Michelle. We've officially beaten Jimmy Johns at their own game. Uh, how does this work? When you use it, then we will tell you our hand. OK. Well, see ya. Miss you guys. Bye. Gentlemen, please make sure you're sitting in your seat. Make sure you check your point test one more time.
Tomorrow, I'm going to Denver. Um, Joe, Sam, we are back in the game. Here's what's interesting. What? I thought that they were getting off of a flight. We know they're on the ground because they're not allowed to pick up a call when they're in the air. Mm -hmm. I thought that they were getting off. They're getting on. Sam, we are so still in this game. Oh, we got a flop. We got a flop. 400 mile car. Bribe the chief of police. Visit any local police station and leave a dollar outside with a note outlining your demands. Four in a mile car, arrive at the chief of police. Okay. Um, anyway, we should uh, tour a rental car. Are we still doing that plan? Yeah, we locked in, we booked. Well, I mean, we have it. I, I mean, theoretically, we could steal and fly out of here, but I just don't have a plan for that. No. Let me, let me... We need to save it. For the last day? Probably. That's crazy. We could probably seal and go to Colorado. But we're already going there right now. Yes, right? but much slower. What car do we use to? They just used one, and that means they have two other ones that almost guarantee would get us to Colorado, to Denver. Let me check if there's a Denver flight that we could make. I just feel weird using the steel so early. I know, I know. There is a flight we could make to Denver. Um, at, right now? At 5.30, so we would actually have time to make it. Um, this is insane. What is your gut telling you, Sam? I think yes. I like the plan that we had, but this gets us to where we wanted to end today anyway. Because then we're even with them. Pretty much, yeah. Because they're about to take off. And we, we would have one more flight card than them. And there's nothing left they could take from us. Not really, no. Do it, Sam. Live free, die trying. I don't know what that means. What could you have possibly done? We would, we would like, we would like to steal a car. Titan was outside the aircraft. Pull down short of it to the equipment. We have a location and use of life. An 800 mile flight to a neighboring state. And a 600 mile flight on a small aircraft. Okay, we'll take a uh, neighboring state. Maybe found in me. You got this. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Miss you. Let's evacuate through a window exit and while on the aircraft waiting for a water evacuation. They are located in March overhead bins in the mid cabin. For everyone's safety and comfort, federal regulations require all customers to comply with posted placards well. laid in signs throughout the cabin as well as crew member instructions. That's not good. A friendly review. That's awesome. Let me go ahead and book that, right? Yeah, book it. I am so glad we're doing this instead of a rental car. This is perfect. We have burned all the challenges. We're locked in. Wait. All we gotta do is get to Denver. Wait. What do you mean, wait? wait? Sam, do you need my computer? No. No. Oh my God. Oh my God, what? The flight is sold out. Google Flights sold it as available. Why did we do this? Right. We're in the air. And the important thing is that we're going to Denver. There's a Southwest flight going to Denver, but it lands at 7 .05. I know. There's like a bajillion flights that are just like a couple of minutes too late. It's annoying is there's a. There's a flight directly to Colorado Springs, which is probably where we want to go next, but it arrives past our rest period. Mm. Ah, I'm so mad. We're going to figure this out, Sam. Stick with me. What else is neighboring to Utah? Uh, Arizona, but there's no good flight to Phoenix. I mean, those are really the only two states that would be useful for us. Unless it be Albuquerque. No. Oh, my God. Okay, so decision is 
Do we take that rental to Montrose, but then kind of in the middle of nowhere for the flop tomorrow? Or do we stay here, see if we can beg our way onto that flight, but then probably just waste the next three hours? If everything goes to plan, I think the route to Montrose might be marginally better. But I'm really worried about steals and putting ourselves in the middle of nowhere. Yep, exactly. Okay, if, we, if we're if we trying to get on that Denver flight by standby, we gotta go now. Let's go. Just route us to there. Let's go. Yeah, I think I agree. Still sold out. Hey, for Sam? Hi. I got in here. Has this been one of the most dramatic days of my life? Which airline? Delta, please. Delta. All right. Ugh. We're here at the airport. It's going in and out from showing available, so let's get to a desk. Hey. Good. We were um, trying to book last minute seats on the flight to Denver at 5.30. It was showing two seats, and it was not, and it was showing it again. Is there any way you can help to see if we can get on that? Or is there like a standby option or something? Just the one way? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. There's no more tickets. What do you think the likelihood is if we were to wait here and see if someone doesn't check in? Low? Okay, no worries. Right. Thanks Thank for checking. Uh, well, that answers that. I guess we go to the rental car. I, is, is I guess the so. The rental car option is still decent, so I let's wouldn't... Get, let's get on the road then. We still got the pumpkin. So how long is this total drive? Five hours? Five and a half hours. We should be able to make a little bit today. We'll see. Um, let's get rocking. Honestly, I like being behind. This is where I'm comfortable. This is... <laughs> Sam, that's why you haven't won as many seasons this, of jet this lag. Is, this What's is, going on? This is my, this is my home in jet lag. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't work out. Most of the time it doesn't work out. <laughs> Jesus f Christ. Sometimes it might work out. Chase, welcome to Denver, Colorado. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be feeling a lot better when we landed in Denver no, than I, I am. I did too. I well, I actually slept the whole flight. And when you wake up in the middle of playing jet lag, it's very jarring. It's like someone's pointing a gun at you, um, but like in a fun way. We were supposed to have about two and a half hours, and we could have probably forced up a train and gotten it and gotten on the overnight train from Denver. We would have gotten off in Creston, Iowa. That would have been cool. It would have been very cool. I really want to take an overnight train, uh, but we, we don't even have time to get to the train station now, even if we nope. did have a car. No, we only have about a half an hour. Let's just go position ourselves outside of security then. Where are we? Oh, we're already halfway there. Yeah, we're going to a spot where we have a great card for it. The only risk is if they steal it, of course. So we gotta be super careful when and if they call us that they don't know where we are. The plan is more or less out of our hands now. We have accepted that there is a good degree of risk that we are taking on, but we think it's the best plan in the circumstances we are in. Adam and Ben are intelligent pickles. They might think that we have gotten a flight to Denver. That's true, because they'll they'll notice the lack of noise, basically. Yeah. And they'll notice that there was a Denver flight on the schedule. Mm -hmm. They won't know that we couldn't have gotten on it. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good, because they're going to be... That's actually a really good point. Yeah, they're going to be... They're not going to be thinking that we're doing this, I think. I wonder where they are. My guess is here. Because here's, here's what I think. I think that they are really going to want to be using their uh, high-altitude flight. Out of Colorado Springs. Out of Colorado Springs. Yeah. So my guess is that they are probably here or on their way there. I think I've been to circus because this feels like I'm a clown right now. This is 
This is like my drive home. This is the route that I take home from like Salt Lake City or any time I come this way. So I've driven, I've driven through this canyon a bajillion times. Oh, beautiful. That's how they make wind, you know? That's how they make wind. I think what we should feel good about is that they got a massive W today. And yeah. And still, it's pretty neck and neck. Maybe not geographically, crazy. but at least kind of like effectively with the cards that we have. So like that, you know, we should feel decent about that, I think. Um, okay. We have looked at quite a number of flights. It is unclear what we should do, I would say. The one flight card that we have doesn't seem to have a ton of great uses from here. Nah, I mean, we could go to Tulsa at like 10. But then from Tulsa, we might get a little sick. Yeah. I think it's going to depend on what tickets pop up tomorrow. Morning. We just have to see the flop tomorrow morning. Uh, but yeah, it it is 7 p.m. So we will see you here at 6 a.m. Mountain time. It is 7 p.m. and we are ending our day here in the middle of nowhere, Utah. This is amazing timing because it's exactly 7 p.m. and this is exactly the hotel we wanted to stay at. <laughs> so we don't, have to, we don't have to drive anywhere tomorrow morning. Yay! The Perfect. Thing. And we still got the pumpkin. Ben Jr. Ben Jr. Good night. As you can probably tell, uh, that was one of the more uh, chaotic uh, days of just my life. Certainly my time on jet lag, but there was a lot to handle between um, uh, helping Michelle and uh, carrying a pumpkin and strategizing at potentially the most crucial moment in the game so far um, and filming. So I apologize for what might not be the best cinematography you've ever seen. Um, I think it was the best cinematography thank you. you've ever seen. I appreciate your support. But um, for kind of an additional layer of analysis on uh, that whole chaos, plus our decision uh, at the end, but we talked all about it on our Nebula exclusive podcast, The Layover. And The, the Layover, of course, is just one of many, many reasons to sign up for Nebula because it is, of course, its own full streaming service with amazing series from people like Real Life Lore, who you may remember from earlier seasons. Um, you've got documentaries from us. We did a whole documentary in Alaska, of all places. It's actually um, the first project that we three worked together and collaborated yeah. on. So you can get more Us in Alaska content. Kind Very of. different types of stuff. Very different kind of content. Good. Yeah. Um, We're not on camera, but you can sometimes hear us behind camera at, like, asking questions. Yeah. Kind of fun. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, right now on Nebula, like, I watch Nebula all the time. Right now I'm watching... Um, Taboo on Screen by, by Broey de Chanel. It kind of gets into like the sort of taboo subjects of filmmaking. Um, and I've been watching the, the first two episodes, which are about the like, for, for any of you who are as sort of like terminally online as me and you've been sort of plugged into the, the like Zoomer debate of whether like we should just stop having sex scenes in, in movies at all, because Gen Z is really puritanical. I'm, I'm Gen Z, so, but it, it's kind of weird. Anyway. Uh, this, this show breaks it down. It's really interesting, and that's just one of the many things you can watch on Nebula. And look, if you're gonna sign up for Nebula, you know you gotta do it with our link. Why? Because you get 40% off an annual subscription when you use nebula.tv slash jet lag, and also when you use that. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, which is the way that Nebula figures out that we sent you so that they can give us money to fund the show is it's the people that use our link. If you just go to Nebula without the link, they don't know that it's because of us and we don't get, we don't get anything from that. And then we can't pay for the, all the airplanes and then that's bad. Anyway. We can't pay for the many airplanes we own. Yes. We're still in a lot of debt. <laughs> Um, so anyway, you know, go to nebula.tv slash jet lag, get that 40% off, uh, watch the next episode now, listen to Layover, watch uh, Taboo on screen, do all the things. There's so much more on Nebula, and all you have to do is click the button here or link in the description. See you there!